Brandon Redman and his team have chased many tornadoes. They've braved hailstorms and strong winds, but they believe nothing will compare to Irene. Tonight, the team is packing up for a trip to North Carolina. Along the way, you get a passenger seat view. Just a minute. Their storm chasing vehicles loaded up with high tech monitors, radios, and cameras, and the strange looking contraption on top. It takes temperature readings, wind speed and direction, barometric pressure, rainfall rates, humidity, everything that we need to properly measure what's happening inside of a storm. Brandon Redman of Dark County and the rest of the severe weather alert team hope to hit the road early Friday morning. While so many people are trying desperately to escape the eastern coast of North Carolina, the eye of the storm is their destination. Capture photography and videography um, as the storm does come ashore, then obviously it's just a passion. It's something that we all love and enjoy doing. While the team has chased many tornadoes, hurricanes are a new subject. They're talking with storm chasers who have more experience chasing hurricanes to prepare because those who live on the coast know hurricanes are no joke. I think it'll be intense. Um, we're definitely making sure that we're well prepared, but it'll be a neat experience just because of the fact that um, hurricanes are so gorgeous once the eyewall comes ashore and there's so much beautiful cloud structure. and. And you can watch it all from home through this webcam placed inside the storm chasing vehicle. Well, that is, as Brandon pointed out, as long as the team still has an internet connection to keep track of the SWAT chasers during their trip and to watch that live video feed, there's a link on our website, WDTN.com. Just click on web links under the on air tab. Reporting live from Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.